Hey, today we're going to be looking at a another eyedropper. In fact, this is solely an eyedropper fountain pen. This is the Mahjong S5 dropper pen. It retails for $24, which might seem like, you know, a little bit much for for this pen, but it comes with its own eyedropper plus two other nibs. Now, when you order this pen, you have the option of extra fine or fine. And then they give you a food A nib as well as a, I think they call it 1.1 stub. So you get, you get three nibs. They're nibs that screw in uh, to the grip section so it's easy easy on easy off and uh, so pretty convenient and so I'll do a writing sample with each of those but it comes in this kind of this heavy foam it's got this plastic frosted plastic uh, case and then this heavy foam and the pen sits in there like that Ugh. So I thought that was pretty good. Then it, then it also has these uh, all these instructions on how to fill your pen. You know, all that good stuff that comes with these types of pens. Anyway, that, the uh, ink in there, I put Apple Glory. So I, I didn't uh, write that in the writing sample. So I'll just go ahead and let you know what the ink is right now. Okay, the materials on this pen are is acrylic except for the metal band and that crystal. The, the acrylic is pretty interesting as it reflects the color of your ink throughout. But I, I thought that was kind of a nice, nice looking uh, acrylic there. And then the, the, the cap is very similar. The shape is it's kind of, I guess I would call this a fish shape. Like here's the fin down here. And, uh, you know, it's not really a cigar shape. It's not a torpedo shape. It's not a, really a flat top shape or what uh, Pilot Pens calls their heritage that has the flat finials. So I call it a, I call it a fish shape. Um, the body, again, it's just uh, from the band, it comes kind of, it starts tapering pretty quick. And then right here it tapers a lot more, uh, but it, um, it might even, I don't, no, I think it just starts tapering. I don't think, it doesn't swell at all here. It doesn't expand, but um, then you come to the band down here. On the band it just says Mahjong. Then you come around here to this crystal. And then you have these plastic threads and this kind of a crushed acrylic different shades of blue. Some, I think some uh, purple in there. Maybe some red. Looks like some red in there as well. So I, I thought that was a, a kind of neat uh, aspect of the design because no matter almost no matter what color of ink that you're using is going to match with some sort of shade on this grip and then the the cap it's you know it's just the plastic threads in there and it's drilled out where it's going to seal your nibble seal uh, right there so yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, it feels pl plenty strong. There's there's no real give in that. Um, so it's threaded, and I'm gonna have to let's see how many turns. I'm gonna turn the body instead of the cap. But let's see. There's one, two, three. About three and a half turns, which seems like a lot. 
Obviously the filling system is eyedropper. It is a number five nib. It's just, it has uh, a, uh, I think it's a lotus flower on there. That's as far as I could tell with this uh, little crescent and a circle with the crescent. I think that it has something to do with fertility and all, whatever. But anyway, that's the design on the nib. And this I got as a fine, but it's kind of almost an extra fine, I think. Is it postable? Yes, it is. And has great balance. I mean, if you like to post your pens, this works well. It's, it's one that I could, I could write posted with. It, and as you can see, it posts very deeply because here's, watch the end of the pen as it comes right to here. So a nice deep post. As far as colors or designs, this is the only color that it comes in, just clear. <laughs> and only the gold band, uh, same, same grip. So um, as far as the, the length of the pen, the body is 123 millimeters. And I think it, I, I like it unposted. Uh, if you have a bigger hand that may, it's going to come to about here, but there's, that's not going to be a problem. But again, if you like it posted, that's what's kind of nice posted is the, uh, the threaded section here where there's going to be this step down that might, and that step down is really smooth uh, coming off this, off this uh, cap here. That's smooth. It's not sharp at all. So it's, it's not going to ride up here on your knuckle, at least not in my hand. And if you have bigger hands, it'll be even further down. But um, yes, yeah, real comfortable. So posted, it's 136 millimeters. So and one, 123. The body girth is 14 millimeters. So for a small pin, it gives you some, some width there, some girth. The green, uh, grip length, and that's just from the threads to the uh, end of the grip is 18 millimeters. The grip girth uh, varies. It's going to start out at 12 millimeters and then it's going to come down to about 9 millimeters and back up to about 10 millimeters. So it's, you know, I, I think it being 12 millimeters right here at the beginning of the grip and then I think that really helps and then you have that kind of that slope up to the 10, 10 millimeters. I'm getting this all <laughs> out of whack on my screen but anyway from the the slope here down up there. I, I think even though that's a nine millimeter uh, at the smallest point, thinnest point, narrowest, narrowest point, <laughs> uh, I, I think it's fine. And to me, it's comfortable because again, you got you have the girth up here. So yeah, so that's not bad. The overall weight is 19 grams. So like I said, a nice pocket pen. It's nice and light, and it is 15 grams uh, with this reservoir three quarters of three quarters full. So as you see it here, it's 15 grams. So it's a, it's a nice light, but it's, you, you know that you have it in your hand. So I, to me, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Now, the only thing about these nibs is you're going to have to kind of play with the orientation of the nib uh, in order to get it to line up with that crystal. And not all three of the nibs start the same way. This nib, I think uh, the fine nib, if I start the orientation out as it is and then start screwing it, screwing it in, it'll end up right there. I'm gonna kind of tighten it in there, but it lines up pretty good there, which is nice because as you're writing, that crystal then is right here. Whereas sometimes the way they line up, if, if you don't 
play with the orientation right, that crystal will end up on the side and so your thumb is hitting it. Uh, if it ends up over here, eh, it may bug you a little bit, but or on the bottom, depending on how you hold your pins. But, you know, that's kind of the downside on, on having that crystal. It almost would have been better if they would have would have made a gold band and the crystal on the band uh, put this band on the cap rather than the body of the pin so yeah i i don't know why they did that but any, anyway there it is okay how about some size comparisons all right here you have the mahjong s5 you have a pilot kakuno you have a Pilot Metro, and then you have a Caveco uh, Sport, and which is a true pocket pin. So really, this is be a long pocket pin, but and here they are uncapped. And posted, you know, posted. You could see here's the end of it. The uh, S5 right here, and then the Caveco Sport. So, pretty pretty similar that way, any, anyway. But the other is obviously a little bit longer. Uh, let's see, this is the S5 1.1. little bit of a hard start there this is a fairly wet nib but it's um, you know it's it's nice it's smooth even on the upstrokes there I, I believe this is a nice uh, stub nib uh, again, it's juicy, so if you like to write small, uh, you're not going to <laughs> really appreciate uh, this nib. It's gonna, you're gonna have to do some uh, bigger, some bigger writing there. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here. So this is a Rhodia uh, grid pad. So this, uh, oops, no hard start because I've had it out. Mahjong S5 Eyedropper Fountain Pin I'll just make a doesn't want to write like that. There's a sweet spot in this. Come across like that. All right, so I'm gonna pause it here and I'm gonna change nibs. All right, now this is supposed to be, supposed to be a fine I just inked this up. I, I switched the nibs. Now I'm going to see if I can get this nib flowing. I had to dip it. Okay. Already messed that up. Okay, an S5. Supposed to be a fine. The other option was extra fine. And as I look at the nib, I'm, I'm thinking they sent me an extra fine. All right, maybe it just needs to get the ink flowing there. Okay, so pretty good. Wetness, still pretty wet, even for a fine. And the smoothness, smoothness of the nib is uh, really nice. Okay, so this is the Mahjong S5. I'm 
Fine dropper, fountain pen. And definitely a different line width. All right, let me change out to the other nib. Oops, trying to keep all this together here. All right, so this is the, now this is that, this is that food a nib, F-U-D-E, or food, whatever. So apparently the line width varies as you tilt it. So I'm gonna go, my S's and five <laughs> wanna look similar. really kind of hard to write straight up and down. Let's see. I'm trying to write as straight up and down as I can. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a more normal uh, way of writing here. So let's try this. Okay, so there's, this is pretty much kind of a, a medium. I'm gonna go at more of an angle. Oh, there you go. There's some broad right there. All right, so as I write with this, the angle that I write with this, it's more of a, it's more of a medium. Food day. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of play with this one a little bit here. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go straight up. I don't know if I could do reverse writing. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, this is more straight up, very unnatural, but, I'm gonna write that out. Okay, so there's there's straight up. This is more where I would hold it naturally. It's getting pretty close to those five. Let's say a medium, but have to almost do it up. And then of course you got Okay, so here I come up a little bit more. This is straight up and down. Then you have a little more of an angle there. A little more. And then down. So you can see there's there's some pretty decent uh, decent line variation there. Um, let's see. That's just up and down right there. So I think the, that food day is pretty, it's pretty nifty. Alrighty, so uh, let's go to some likes and dislikes of the pen there. All right, what do I think about this Mahjong S5 dropper pen? For $25, I think it's a good deal given that you're getting three nibs and they're they're nice they're nice writing nibs it's not like the monza three that i've 
reviewed one time before. The styling is unique. I, I like the added touch with the uh, crystal in the band. I think it's a nice looking pen. It's comfortable to write with uh, unposted, but if you post, it posts deeply enough, but still gives it some good length. Uh, so large hands, small hands, I, I think you'll do well with this. The weight is really nice. It's lightweight, but you know you have something in in your hand. I like the pen. I, I think it would be something that you should consider as well. All right, thanks for watching. You check out these other two videos and you have a great day.